Swiggity Swag, what's in the bag? Jay here bringing you guys some more Pokemon Alpha Sapphire Delta episode. But if you guys are enjoying the series so far and you haven't enjoyed this episode as well, please do not forget to hit that like button because it does help support the channel, series, video, and it makes me a very happy guy. Last time, we um, found out that there were multiple universes and um, there's like another Hoenn region and whatnot. And Zinnia basically jacked everybody's keystone and now she's headed towards Sky Pillar and we have to go to the Moss Deep Space Center um, to talk to Steven even though I just want to go ahead and head over to Sky Pillar itself. But, you know, I guess we can't do that. We got to go and head over to um, the Space Center first before we go to Sky Pillar. But, yeah, we got to go to Sky Pillar and whatnot. Um, I think I heard that they made Sky Pillar a little bit easier to navigate through because if you remember last time, Sky Pillar was a pain in the ass to get through because he had like the the floor breaking and shit and it was just like, you know, it wasn't easy, but um yeah, I mean, yeah, we just gotta head over to the space center now and then hopefully we get to see Rayquaza in this episode. If we don't, that's perfectly fine. Um I don't know. I just really want to see Rayquaza because everyone said that like Rayquaza, the Ray Rayquaza scene is epic as fuck, and I want to see it. And we got, and we have to catch it as well. So that's the unfortunate thing. I, uh, I don't even know how many Pokeballs I have. Let me look. Um, let's go and sort by type. Uh, I have a Master Ball, three Quick Balls, a Nest Ball, Premier Master, twenty nine Ultras. Okay, so I don't really have many pokeballs but i guess i'll go and get some more um get some more i don't know what kind of i guess timer balls if i can find them let's see jay i have been expecting you nosh no shit you called me dude let's go i'm gonna relay the information to you my dude ah that's it that woman that Z zinnia she mentioned the sky pillar Few can enter it, only the successors of the ancient world who know what it has been, the lore keepers who are tasked with passing on that knowledge to those who come after. Do you remember Wallace, whom you met in Sutopolis? Yes. Is that right? That's a relief. The gym leader of Sutopolis, Wallace, should know how to undo the seal on the Sky Pillar's entrance. Let's see, he is also one of the few humans to have inherited such ancient lore. I will remain here and work with the professor and his team to devise a plan for what to do next. That woman is I cannot, I cannot put my faith in her. We will think of a new way to stop the meteoroid on our own. Zinnia and Sky Pillar, I will leave them in your hands. I will send a message to Wallace for you so he knows to help. You will probably find him in the Cave of Origin in Sutopolis. Okay, so we have to now go to Sutopolis City. Let me just make sure I know exactly where to get um, timer balls from um, in this game. So that way I will be able to go um timer ball uh omega a a a I said omega omega ruby okay uh let's see just got to make sure I know where to go so he said to topless so we got to go there um timer ball rustboro city sweet so hopefully we should, we should be able to buy him in Rustboro. So we're gonna go back to Rustboro before we go to Sky Pillar and try to catch Rayquaza, yada, yada, yada. And Sutopolis City. So we gotta, we gotta see Wallace. Now, I hope and pray we just have to see him and not battle him because I don't wanna battle him. I really don't. There's no reason why we should have to battle him. We got our gym badge, so. But let me just go ahead and put Pikachu in the front because I'm gonna body that man if he try if if he even tries to battle me. I'm killing his soul, okay? Let's see, do we keep going back here? I think we do. Hey. Oh wait, no. Wait, is there something? I'm ah. Uh. Ah man. Okay, we gotta take. The other side. Uh, okay. So let's do this. Go around. And then hop here. Okay, let's go up this way. This way, this way. Down and 
we should be able to, uh, here we go. Oh, snap, it's Wallace. Okay. What a glorious turn of events. Glorious? Is it really? Oh, is it really? To think that this tree, I never knew we received it from that huge man who visited from the Kalos region. Goodness me, old master. This has been a learning experience. I thank you for this. Ah, Master Wallace. No, no, you're too modest. Haha, <laughs> now then. Welcome again to Sutopolis, our new champion, Jay. Steven has told me everything. Do you wish to go to Sky Pillar? Is it true the cave that leads to Sky Pillar can only be opened? No, it is true that the cave. No, there's no. Okay. It is true the cave that leads to Sky Pillar or to the Sky Pillar can only be opened by the hand of someone descended from the ancient people of Sutopolis, as indeed am I. Or by the one or by one of the Draconids who have also lived in Hoenn since ancient times. The Sky Pillar is in fact an altar built for the ascension of Rayquaza, that legendary Pokemon long said to be the protector of the Hoenn region. Only the ancient Draconid people know how to summon Rayquaza to the Sky Pillar. Steven has told me of the woman's Zinnia. She must be trying to revive Rayquaza for some purpose. I shall go first to the Sky Pillar. When your preparations are complete, come join me. The Sky Pillar's tower the Sky Pillar towers over everything upon one of Route 131 small islands. Okay. So now we gotta go there. Oh boy. This ought to be fun. So the fastest way to get there would be to Eon Flute our way to maybe Lily Cove? I don't know. I gotta look at the map. Like, once the map comes up on the screen, I'm gonna look. Um, oh. Damn. I'm, I'm not really sure which way is easier, to be completely honest. Um, let's just go to. Uh, where is. Oh, there's Lily Cove. Let's just, hey, actually, let's go, let's go Moss Deep. We're gonna go Moss Deep and then just go down and then like, over. Yeah, there you go. So, hopefully, we uh, see Rayquaza. Well, actually, no, 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 We gotta go get timer balls first. We gotta get Pokeballs, timer balls, whatever Pokeball we can get. Then, we're gonna head over to um, Sky Pillar. So, let's go to Rustboro first. Let's see. Alright. Hey, no, land here. There you go. Whoosh. Okay. Rustboro City. Then we're gonna go back to Moss Deep, and then we're gonna go and I hope catch Rayquaza. I really hope we can catch Rayquaza and like less than a few captures but I don't know it's Rayquaza Rayquaza was always difficult for me to catch without like master ball or something and but I don't want to master ball it it's so boring oh we don't oh we just find the timer ball here we don't actually buy it oh that is that is depressing oh are you serious I need to buy timer balls oh yeah, it says shop, Rustboro City. This is Rustboro, isn't is it not? Like, can we not buy timer balls here? Like, I don't get it. Can we can we not buy timer balls yet? Like, it says shop. Like, this is dumb. This is really stupid. I really want to buy timer balls. Like do you sell them because I want one or some uh you don't you are a loser you fucking suck I don't like you or maybe we have to actually like find a timer ball first which I guess that's route 119 and I don't want to try to find one on route 119 so I'll take my damn chances with uh, Rayquaza it's whatever I don't I don't care 
we will take our chances. Um, if Rayquaza appears in this episode, I might not, tr depending on how long it takes us to get to Rayquaza, I might not try to catch it in this specific episode, just because, you know, time constraints and whatnot. And I don't want to bore people with me just trying to catch a Pokemon all episode. At the same time, though, it is very interesting to see people try to catch Pokemon. But at the same time, you know, people probably wouldn't want me to waste like a whole hour catching Rayquaza. So I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to, if I see Rayquaza, well, no, but then, but it's like, I don't want to have to, ugh, I don't know what to, I really don't know what to do. It depends. It depends on how long it goes. If we get the Rayquaza and it's been like 30 minutes, I might cut it off. And then that way you got, it'll be like a cliffhanger type of thing. Which, it won't be, it won't really be much of a cliffhanger to be completely honest. Just because, um, you guys will get the uh, next episode maybe immediately after. It really, wait, what? Damn, I ran into a Pokemon. But honestly though, we, have, we haven't even put up a Repel and we, this is the first Pokemon we ran into. So, I mean, that's pretty good. That is pretty damn good, if I do say so myself. They actually lessened the um, number of Pokemon in the water, and I really like that. It's not as annoying to travel through water as it used to be. Wait, are you serious? There, come on now, okay. I was just about to turn the corner. I was just about to turn the corner. But I might go ahead and throw up a Repel. It really depends. Because there, there might be things in Sky, Sky Pillar that I want to catch. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw up a Repel. Because I'm, I just want to get to the... Uh, I just want to get to Sky Pillar. That's all I want to do. Okay. So now we're on the straight path. Whoa. That sounded like... I, I want to say Alamomola, but... I'm not sure if that was Alamomola. Okay. 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 Ah. Damn it. That's fine. That is fine. We can body her. She has, what, two Pokemon? Katie. Hey, Katie. I gotta destroy your soul now. I'm sorry. Because I want to get to Rayquaza. I want to get to Rayquaza. I really do. I really do, 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 do. I really do, 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 do. Oh, and then we got to battle Zin Zinnia too. I know we do. Yeah, we got to battle her as well. So, oh, this is going to get fucking real. Oh, it's about to get real. Oh, it's about to get so fucking real. Oh my gosh, guys, it's about to get real. It's about to get so real. Oh, I can't wait. I cannot wait to see these. I can't wait to see these cutscenes because these cutscenes are about to be so powerful. Ah! Okay. Let's see. Route 131. Sky Pillar! I didn't even know Sky Pillar was like right here, but I mean, I knew it was right here, but like that opening just looked kind of suspicious. So here you go. So you've, so, you've come, Jay. As you can see, I have undone the seal on the entrance to the Sky Pillar. Follow the path within, and you will reach the pillar in time. However, to go beyond this point, there is one more trial you must overcome. This is my duty as one of the ancient Sutop... Whoa, what? Sutopolians? A duty passed down to me by my former master. You must battle me here and now. Prove to me that your power is great enough to face what lies ahead. Now tell me, are you prepared? Oh my gosh, we gotta battle him! Oh. Come on, we just, we battled you already! I don't wanna battle again! Damn. Ah, he has six Pokemon?! Okay. Time to body this man. Oh my gosh, we gotta battle him again. <sighs> like, I mean, hey, it's free experience, but damn, I don't wanna battle him again. Wish cash. Oh, shit. Can't use Pikachu there. Um, Let's use Valentine. We have Psychic now. We have Psychic now. We, uh, we're immune to ground and we resist water. What the hell can a Wish Cash do to us? Nothing. 
So, get bodied by our psychic. Oh, rock tomb. I don't like that. We should still outspeed though, right? Yes! Hey, hey, hey! Okay. Alright, we're good, we're good. Milotic, oh hell nah. That Milotic gotta go. <laughs> Needs to go. Damn, it's 2 o'clock? Shit, I started recording at 1. Mm, excuse me. And it's been like a whole hour. Come on now. Alright, this dude's level 57. I am very afraid. He is on my level. That's shit. That Milotic ate. Oh my gosh. Dude, that Milotic ate that hit. Like, my word. I did not think that Milotic. I mean, I know Milotics are bulky and shit, but my goodness. It, it took that Thunderbolt it nice. And it didn't take it nicely, but it took it. It survived. That's all that matters. Gyarados, I don't even know why you sent this thing in. You should just. You should have not sent this thing in. It doesn't even matter what move I go for, bro. Discharge, catch that. Unless you have a focus sash or a focus band, it's over. It's over. Okay. Level 51, passion. Tentacruel. Gonna body this Tentacruel as well. Like, basically, Pikachu is about to just be going ham. Pikachu's going ham. That was a crit. Nice. What's your last Pokemon, Wallace? Level 52. Ludicolo. Okay. Ludicolo might be... Uh, Ludicolo is a little bit of a challenge because it's not actually weak to electric because grass resists electric, so it's neutral to Ludicolo. So I'm going to go into Fangers and go for the uh, Crunch. Fake out. Great. Great, 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 great. Okay. Come on. All right. Energy ball. Shit. Ah. Okay, this crunch has to kill. Oh, please kill. Yes. That was a crit, too. Okay. All right. Got bodied, Wallace. To defeat me, a descendant of the ancient Sutopolis people. And even when I was holding nothing back, I see t six Pokemon my ass. As I have come to expect from you, Jay, you are an excellent Pokemon trainer. The Pokemon that you sent out in that battle, at times dancing as lightly as an elusive spring breeze, yet striking with a sudden certainty or surety. Surety? What? Certainty? That's not certainty, that's surety. What? Of lightning from the blue. Watching you command the battle with such ease and grace. I might, even I might succumb to your charm. Okay, Wallace, back the fuck up, okay? I'm straight. I mean, I'm flattered. Thank you very much. I'm, I mean, I'm flattered. Thank you for much for your, your praise and all that fun stuff, my bro. Like, thanks, dude. I mean, that's cool. Like, that's very cool kind of you, all that shit. But no, stop. Back, back up, man. Just need to back up. Back up, back up. Okay. Now that we've dealt with that, let's go into Sky Pillar. And let's just listen to this music. Alright, Sky Pillar. We made it! We have made it. Whoa. Th this music is heavy. This music is so heavy. Whoa. So you came for me. Thanks for that. Wait, did you hear her clap? You heard her clap. Oh my gosh. That's really good, Jay. I really feel it right here. Mm-hmm. Since you've been such a... Wait, since you've been a good boy, I think I'll give you something I've been keeping. Look. The paintings that cover the walls of this tower. See, these are the, hist th these are the history of humanity, of Pokemon, and of nature itself. Okay. They're... See... They're the tales that have been passed down by my ancestors, the Draconids, for thousands of years. And now I will pass that history and lore on to you. Wait, what? Aw oh, shit, history lesson. Thousands of years ago, in the primal age long lost, the world was overflowing with natural energy. 
Primal Groudon and Primal Kyogre fought over that energy in endless, furious clashes. In the face of Primal Groudon and Kyogre's great power, people could do nothing. The only choice was to watch as disaster upon disaster swept over them. It was su it was in such a time that a great wait that a great many meteoroids poured from the darkness of space, from a place higher even than the heavens, and the meteoroids fell in their multitude upon, okay, upon a waterfall that had long been home to a trib a tribe trib what the fuck tribe of dragon type Pokemon users, okay. Okay, that's it. That's the end of the first chapter of my tale. I'll tell you the next part of the story on to the next floor. Look forward to it. On the next floor, look forward to it, not on to the next floor. Dude, this music is... This music is real! But like, yo, I'm just exploring. I gotta explore this place real quick, though. Like, this... This shit right here... Is crazy. Wait, what can we find in here? Oh my gosh, what can we find in here? Clay doll. Ooh. That is heavy. So 46 also? Ooh, that's, that's heavy. That's heavy. Why is this music so. Dragon scale? Yeah. But why is this music so he heavy, though? It's so heavy. Like. This is heavy, dude. I don't even. Like. I'm scared. Like. I am. Legitimately scared. <laughs> I I don't know, dude. Wait, what? Wait, where's the Pokemon at? Oh, it's another clay doll. Okay, I don't want that. Okay. Oh boy. Oh, there's Zinnia. Oh, here you are. Ah, snap. Let me continue. It's finally time for chapter two. Here we go. At last, right? Huh, I know you're thrilled. Okay, more story time. The meteors shone with a rainbow brilliance as if some great life was held within. That was when, as if dawned by the brilliance, a Pokemon that shone in a blazing emerald hue descended from the heavens. That Pokemon was none other than Rayquaza! Rayquaza's power overwhelmed that of the two primal Pokemon and peace returned to the world. The people of Hoenn revered Rayquaza as a true savior. A thousand years after this time, the meteoroids once again fell. A huge meteoroid, far greater than any before, struck the planet, boring deep into the ocean and leaving behind it a crater larger than any other the land born of this event later become known as Sutopolis wait the land born of this event later become known okay and that is it Chap chapter 2 is over but we've only just left the starting line there's a long way yet don't fall behind now oh my gosh it's story time with Zania, dude like I'm telling you Wait, what is that? Was that Bayonet? No, that's Sableye. I don't want Sableye. I don't care about Sableye. Dude, this dude, this is getting heavy. Here we go, chapter three. Sutopolis was born from a great meteoroid strike. Okay. The great meteoroid was the first of many disasters to befall humanity. When it punched into the planet, the land cracked beneath it, and a great welling of natural energy poured from beneath Hoenn. Thirsting for that energy, Primal Kyogre and Primal Groudon once again woke. The people had a wish, a memory from a thousand years before. They wished that the legendary Pokemon clad in Emerald Light would appear again. The huge meteorite that lay at the heart of Subtabulous gave off a boundless brilliance. In its brilliance, it resembled a vast and powerful keystone. And once again, Rayquaza descended from whence it came in the heavens. The people fell to their knees before Rayquaza and made a wish for salvation. Damn, this is like some church shit right here. Like, praise the Lord, Jesus! Praise the Lord, put your hand on the Bible! As they did, a great change came over the legendary Pokemon. 
it was enveloped in a blinding light. As the light receded, they beheld a Rayquaza beyond all knowledge, a sublime figure, incandescent, with overwhelming life force. It was humanity's wish that brought about Rayquaza's transformation in the face of the Rainbow Stone. Yes, a wish, an intangible thing invisible to the eye. Yet, this wish bound people and Pokemon together, enabling the legendary Pokemon to change its appearance. Doesn't it remind you of something? Mega Evolution! That's right, it sounds like Mega Evolution. Evo That's right, it sounds like Mega Evolution, doesn't it? Oh shit, she just walks away. She just walks away. Ooh! Bro, this is this is some good ass story. This is some this is some like yo, I would go to church for this. Like this right here? This is some good this is some good shit right here. I'm telling you, this is some good shit right here. Boy. You got Uh-oh. And how did the story end? After being transformed by the wish of the people, did Rayquaza save them from disaster? Wait, did Rayquaza save them from disaster? Rayquaza once again confronted Primal Groudon and Primal Kyogre. The golden fl uh, filaments that sprang from his body covered the sky. An emerald brilliance illuminated the area. A terrible wind wind rose. Okay, the wind and emerald light visibly uh, sapped. Okay, the power from Primal Groudon and Primal Kyogre. Drained of their primal powers, the two vanished into the depths of land and sea. Rayquaza watched them go, regaining its usual appearance. Then it soared back up into the heavens where it dwelled. A witness to this series of events, a tall visitor from a distant land said, It is the Delta born of the great disturbances in this world. AZ, probably, by the bonds born of mankind's wish and the power of the stones, it will calm the troubles that plague the world. That was when the Draconids constructed their great tower to hold the rainbow stone that had granted Rayquaza its power and to try to get a bit closer to Rayquaza in the heavens above to record the history of their trials and the great feats of mighty Rayquaza for all to know they left behind the murals or mural murals I guess you see here shit this is a heavy story a giant tower and paintings of the past you know I feel like I've seen something like that recently heh <laughs> but now I suppose it's time for the last chapter in our tale yo let me know let me know please like please let me know like, I need to know, oh shit, that angle. Here we go. At last we reach the final chapter. Ah, dude, this is about to get heavy. A thousand years of peace follow after that disastrous time. But the Draconid people learning from their long history, um, cyclinal or cyclinal, fuck, I can't say that word. Anyway, any, any, whoa, anyway, nature foretold that the meteoroids would fall in this land again. The meteoroid to come, they prophesied, would be far greater than those that had come before it. This meteoroid would be great enough to break the world forever. Oh, shit. In order to prevent this great calamity, those who held the knowledge of the past arrived at the plan. Whatever. Their plan was to invoke Rayquaza, the great savior, and summon it to this land before the meteoroid could strike. Okay. And that's it. That's the end of our of the Draconid's tale. I spent a long time thinking about how I could protect the happiness of as many people as possible. What I must do as one who holds both the knowledge and the power, one who bears the heavy wishes of those who could not live up to that fate. Well, I have, well, I had to be really creative, you know. Aw, oh, snap. Oh, snap. Is this the final, final staircase? Oh, this is the final staircase. Okay, um, I'm going to end the episode right here because this right here is getting really good. And I don't want to stretch this episode out too long, but if you guys are fucking hyped for the next episode, yo, and you enjoyed this episode, please let me know. Please leave a like, please leave a comment, answer the question of the day and all that fun stuff. Share the video. I don't know. I don't care. I am just ready to do this shit. But yeah, just like leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I will see you guys in the next episode where shit is about to go down. Peace.